Thank you, Burbank ROTC. It's time now for the big game and a big game coverage this week that saw the Sam Houston Hurricanes taking on the Burbank Bulldogs out at SAISD Sports Complex, Mary. Yes, and the clouds starting to roll in before the game tonight. Both teams entered the evening undefeated in district play, so the winner of this one takes control of District 12 5A D2. All right, let's go to those highlights. First quarter, Bulldogs leading seventh and nothing when they get more. Quarterback Kevin Hernandez throws it into the end zone where he finds number four, Matthew Reyna, for a touchdown. It's 15 nothing dogs after a two point conversion. Same score, the Hurricanes are threatening. Quarterback Myvion Franklin Ross under pressure. And he just tosses the ball up in the air and right to the dogs, Eric Ovea, who grabs the ball and he's taking that baby back all the way for a 77 yard touchdown. Burbank leads this one 22 nothing, and I believe that miscue was ruled a fumble late in the first half. The Canes get on the board. Franklin Ross hands it off to Terrence Harper on the end around 12 yard touchdown. Sam Houston, and it's now 28 6 Burbank, and Burbank takes it 42 22, picking up a key district dub. Uh, this win, I'm pretty sure it puts us in the top seed spot because they uh, they were on top seed. So that puts us in a good spot for a playoff win. We put together a pretty hard non-district to try to prepare for these moments, try to win the district title, try to win the first playoff game in school history. And we're just going to keep taking steps to go forward today. We wanted to be the more physical team, and I think we accomplished that. And they were grilling burgers at Rangers Stadium where the Smithson Valley Rangers were hosting the Seguin at Matadors first quarter. Matadors quarterback Corey Daly throws a number 18, Nick Henry. He makes the catch, the slices through two defenders, and he's off to the races. 74-yard touchdown, and the Matadors strike for a 7 to nothing. Back come the Rangers. Quarterback Cade Spradling will keep it himself and scores a short touchdown, tying this game at 7-all. And number 9, Smithson Valley rolls from there, 47-7. to All right, staying in District 13, 5A. D1, the New Braunfels Unicorns are on the road at the Piper Warriors, and that little one having a good time tonight. Second frame, moments after recovering a Piper fumble, New Braunfels quarterback Clayton Namkin scores from one yard out, and it's 14-7 Unicorns, but the Warriors respond in a big way. Quarterback Caden Keith with time to throw. He goes deep to Isaiah Champagne for a huge pickup, and the Warriors are knocking on the door. Moments later, Keith rolling out. He finds Andrew Grindstaff for a touchdown, nearly taking out Photog Sal, who stayed in there. Extra point was no good. Piper trailed 14 to 13. And the final, Piper wins at 49 35. Now to a battle of two top 10 teams. Number one, Davenport looking to improve to 4-0 in District 14 for AD1 at Bulldog Stadium, the home of number seven, Somerset. Check out this piece of running by Wolves senior back Daniel Sukup II. Sukup avoids the tackle in open field, slips away from another diving attempt, and finds Pater to put Davenport up early. Later, the Wolves looking to their running backs again in the red zone. Barrett Fallon takes the handoff and goes up the middle for six wolves stay undefeated in district play with the 55 to 14 triumph. The fire and armor bowl going down at Dragon Stadium tonight between Southwest Legacy and fourth ranked Southwest. This rivalry series is even at three and three since 2018. Dragons get on the board first. John Mills takes the rock to the outside, protected by his blockers before being tackled across the goal line at 7-0 Southwest. Titans answer. James Ross takes it up the middle and taps it into another gear for the score. This was a close game, but in the end, Southwest wins 41 to 13. Let's head over to the Gus for a District 28-6A matchup between the Harlan Hawks and the Stevens Falcons. First quarter, Harlan ball quarterback Aldrich Trotter keeps the ball. He runs up the middle, cuts to his right, and he is breaking off a 38-yard touchdown run, and the Hawks lead 7-0. The Falcons answer right back, driving down the field when quarterback Isaiah Ferris caps off the drive with this three-yard touchdown run, and this game is tied at 7-all. Harlan led 14-7 after the first quarter, and the final is Harlan wins 49-14. The Brandeis Broncos and the Clark Cougars are playing football at Ferris Stadium tonight, fourth quarter. Cougs up 10-7, and with the ball, quarterback Isaiah Santillan hands it off to number 25, Xavier Cannabis, and and he does the rest, taking that baby to the house. And the Cougars lead it 17 to 7. And the Cougs win it by that final, Mary, 17 7. All right, both Lee and Reagan are hoping to bounce back wow. from week seven losses. And hey, it'll be under a hunter's moon. <laughs>
The Rattlers won of four teams in District 27 6A with a 1 and 2 district record. Well, the Rattlers forced the Volunteers to punt and it pays dividends. Matt Butler on the return and Butler makes a nice cut to the outside. The senior bursts up the sideline and makes the house call. The Rattlers ran away with this one 54 to 0, the final from Comalander. More District 27 6A action. Churchill hosting Roosevelt at Hero Stadium. Always time for a mascot photo op. <laughs> All tied at seven late in the first half when we arrived. A Roosevelt special teams blunder gives Churchill the ball at the Rough Riders 15. A huge opportunity for the Chargers to break the tie, and they do. A few plays later, Miles Pace carves out his own path for the eight-yard rushing touchdown, and Churchill takes the ball game 28 to 14. Over at Alamo Stadium, Nixon Smiley visiting. Larry. YMLA. Tough district 15 3 AD2. <laughs> These two are competing in YMLA QB. Rayshon Conaway looking for a first down. The senior moves the chains with a defender on his back. Soon after, Conaway fakes the handoff, fooling everyone on defense. Lions touchdown for the 7 0 lead. But wow, Nixon Smiley would fight their way back in to win it 21 to 19. Why MLA? <laughs> we still got the BGC road trip to go, taking us down I 35, then across highways 85 and 97. But first, let's enjoy the Alamo Heights High School Marching Band. We'll be right back.